Hi Gemini, welcome to your spring love reading. Thank you so much for being here. So let's see what's coming in for you during this spring season in love. What's coming, what's going, what's blossoming, what's growing. And we'll see what's coming in for you. So welcome in everyone. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. General collective reading. So please only take it how it resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You can switch, flip the energies if you need to at any time. And, you know, only take the signs if you feel like they resonate for you. Could be signs and charts or just the energy or something um, particular to that time frame of that sign. All right, so let's get your oracles here. I'm going to jump right into the tarot and see what's coming in, what's going out, what's blossoming, what's growing, what's regenerating. We'll find out for Gemini. That's too many at this time. Welcome in, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right. If you're new and not familiar with my channel, my name is Mary. So welcome in, welcome in. This is Sunlight Inside Tarot. If this does resonate for you, Gemini, please do give it a thumbs up. You can wait till the end. That's okay. And uh, there will be an extended reading, so we're going to take a di uh, deeper dive into the energies here. And again, you can find out all that information about me and the channel down below for the extended. We... Um, Use a different tarot deck, and we're going to clarify all the energies that we get here. And these three cards over here from the bottom of the decks will be for your extended reading. I'll show you what those are at the end. And I do have the Power of Love Oracle, so we get advice and guidance for you regarding the situation for the springtime in the extended reading also. All right. So we have Purification Water. You could be dealing with the water sign, have water in your chart. Emotional cleansing, rejuvenation. We have 32, which is 5. 5 is all about changes, challenges. So this could be purging. It could be releasing, you know, negative energy, emotions, you know, finally releasing them and cleansing yourself, which will lead to healing and um, reinventing, rejuvenating and healing yourself. You know, water is very healing. It's about diving deep. It, it's very flowing, goes with the flow. And we have Observer here, number 49, just 13, which is 4. 4 is a very stable energy. Somebody could be watching you or you've been watching somebody, I feel. So let's see. We have Reach for the Stars. You deserve only the best, and this is all you should focus your attention on. I feel like by, you know, doing your purging, your cleansing, your healing you know, diving deep into your emotions, your feelings, what needs to be healed, and kind of like observing your energy. You know, what is going on? You know, why am, in this, why am I in this energy and what do I need to heal? This will enable you to just reach higher in life and reach for better things. So being held down by emotional hurts, pains, whether they're from the past. All right, let's see what's going on here for you, Gemini. Gemini, welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. What is going on here? The world. So, yeah. And this could be uh, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So the world is about cycles closing out and new cycles starting. So transformation there with the butterfly. So you definitely could have gone through some big, big change in your life here. Oh, that's too many. What else here for Gemini? What else here for Gemini? The Hermit, yeah. So big change in your life. You know, big cycle ending. Cause you to go in and reflect with the Virgo energy with the Hermit. That can be about healing, reflection, introspection, trying to find your way, your path, your light again, into going into a new cycle. So major, this could be major for you because we do have majors here. All right. It's going within. I feel like there's like a need to observe your energy. Four of Scrolls, again, about healing. A lot of healing here. Again, resting, rejuvenation is all what is here, too. Rejuvenation, as with the Four of Swords. It's all that same energy. All right. The Hero. But now, getting ready here. Take a leap of faith. We have almost all majors here. This is the Hero. This is the uh, full Aquarius energy. 
It's about rebalancing, resetting yourself to zero, getting ready to take a new leap of faith into the world, reaching for the stars for better things. The lovers. Gemini, that's you. Four of Cups. So feeling kind of disenchanted about love, the magician, but you're ready to make something happen. Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. You know, you may be at a point where, you know, maybe I don't want to be in a serious relationship. Maybe I just want to, you know, if we can date or have some fun. Maybe you've been in a lot of serious relationships and you're ready to take a lighter approach. Kind of making that choice decision here. But there could be a soulmate on your path. We'll see. All right. Gemini. Spring Five of Cups. Yeah, a lot of sadness, loss, maybe even regret around a, a cycle that's closed out for you. All right. Ace of Swords. So this is my truth and clarity from Source. This is Epiphany, Awakening, Aha Moment, Cutting Out Energies No Longer Serving, Honest, Truthful Conversation, Communication. This is a, su a successful new beginning. All right. That's too many. What else here for? Oh my God, the lover's coming out again. <laughs> I feel like you do have, and it's usually when you're in a certain mindset, okay, I don't want another serious relationship. I just want to have fun. I just want to date. I just want something casual, nothing serious. That's when, boom, the universe kind of sends you your soulmate when you're not looking for it. That's kind of what I feel like is happening here. But it's going to be up to you to see the truth behind this um person that may be coming across your path you may need to think about here with the four of swords the empress yeah there you go divine feminine energy could be your divine counterpart i've been getting that a lot in all the readings that you've decided okay i don't i don't want another serious relationship yeah i want to have some connections but i want it to be fun you know light airy and this could be someone you're dealing with so if you don't feel like it's your energy you could definitely switch it if it's somebody else's energy we got libra taurus here judgment and again I, I felt that energy scorpio energy of making that decision i don't want anything serious i want to be light i want to be fun i want to be flirty and just take it from there but this is also about needing to heal and forgive the past let it go that's what we had over here with rejuvenation and um this judgment angel though just bring in what is meant to be past life energy or something from the past but it doesn't have to be ten of stones again Three of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of hardy campaign associated with, could have been a marriage here with the Ten of uh, Pentacles energy. Three of Swords. It could have been a third party that was involved with the other connection you were in. If not, it's just a lot of hardy campaign associated to a long-term commitment, marriage, relationship, whatever it was for you. So again, making this decision that maybe you don't want to be married again. You don't want to be in another relationship, long-term relationship again. Then all of a sudden, Mother Earth here sends your empress and you're like, hey, I... I don't I said I didn't want this. The universe is like, well, here you go. <laughs> All right. Gemini. What else here? For Gemini. What else here for Gemini? The Hierophant. Yeah. So again, this could be about marriage, commitment, faith, spirituality, moral standards, values, higher levels altogether, but Taurus energy here, again, world, you know, cycle changing through a long-term commitment of some kind. Could have been children involved. A lot of sadness over that. But again, the Empress and the Hierophant. So yeah, two of swords. I have to make a decision about this. If you add the two and the ace here, you get the three of swords. It's all that heartache and pain of the past. It's like, I don't want to relive that. So you may have to go within and say, hmm, do I really want this? I feel like it's a divinely guided person coming your way. Judgment. In reverse, Scorpio energy again. This could be, you know, about making that final decision. Or could be also about, um, you know, you, you can't make up your mind. But let's see, let's get one more. Let me clarify a few here before we go into the extended. Four. Gemini. That's too many. Let's get one more. That's too many. 
Seven of Spies. So yeah, defensive on guard here. I'm not sure if you want this, like protecting yourself. So let's see. Um, just want to see why this judgment is in reverse. You, Gemini. Why is the judgment in reverse? Magician. Yeah. I feel like Gemini Virgo, that's your energy. It's about manifesting a new beginning. So I feel like you're kind of indecisive, like you're unwilling to make this decision about this new beginning. Unfortunately, kind of protecting yourself. Nine of stones. You just kind of want to stay single, I feel. Two of mirrors. Two of spirals. Yeah, crossroads about a new soulmate that's crossed your path. Yeah, again, but a lot of twos here about needing to make a decision, but twos are about partnerships and unity. So you may be even feeling, like, how can I fit this into my life? Do I want to fit this into my life? Queen of Mirrors, there is love here, so you may have feelings. And temperance here, Sagittarius, is about, you know, clarity, balance, um, peace, harmony, patience, healing, what's meant to be, past lives. Oh... Gemini. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be at a crossroads. Um, it could be somebody, maybe somebody was watching you in the past or something like that. But it does say reach for the star. So the star, you know, is Aquarius energy, is about faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, deep healing, something meant to be divinely guided energy. So... There's something here about the stars bringing in, but you have to reach for it if you want it. But I feel like you're at a point right now where you like, well, I don't really want it, but it's here. It's like you don't want it, but it's here, Gemini. Oh, boy. All right. So let's see what, uh, again, everything you need to know for the extended is down below. If this does resonate, please do give it a thumbs up. Be greatly appreciated. Um... Right after I show you these, we're going to go the extended and we're going to dive deeper here and see what's going to happen, what's going on. Should you pursue this connection? So let's see. We have a flame tree, the start of something new. Well, there you go. Imagine. And we have communicate with your angels. Okay. So if you go the extended, I shall see you there. If not, best of luck to you. And I shall see you next time.